Hello guys and welcome back to my beginner's guide to Prison Architect. In this video we're going to be covering the added features of Update 6. I was released yesterday and I've had a little bit of time to play around with it. It's pretty interesting and I'm quite enjoying it so um, let's get on. Now the first thing I want to cover is the sort of job prioritization as I'm going to call it. And that is a feature that's been in the Xbox release, or well they added to the Xbox release, and PC ga uh, the PC gamers have been asking for it as well because it is very useful. Now, what it allows you to do is to prioritize a job. So you can get your workmen or your guards to do a job first, which is very very useful. Now, I'm going to show you a quick example of this. I'm just going to get my workmen to build me some jail doors, because why not? Just slap a lot of jail doors down in here. Now usually you'd stick them down and you just have to wait, they will be queued up. Uh, let's go to our job queue here. So we've got our workmen doing nothing. Oh, there we go. They're moving garbage, they are storing goods on the tables. Um, they're doing other things basically. So our jobs we've just added have been queued up. Now usually as I said you'll have to wait for them to come along and complete these jobs. So with this new feature if you press control you can drag and drop and you will hide, you'll prioritize these jobs. Which means that your workmen will down the tools and start on these jobs straight away. Uh, you can also hover over a job and press F on it to follow the workman who is being assigned that job. And that, this uh, red line will um, also track to the workman. So you can see this workman here. You can see he's going up and he's off to install the jail door. It's going to be very useful to sort of troubleshoot where workmen are getting stuck or being held up or anything like that. So I'll just move away to cancel that. So yeah, this is a very very handy feature. I've found myself using it a hell of a lot to get them to do the things that I want them to do rather than the things that they want to do. Uh, it can be really very useful if you are building a couple of things and you split your workmen into they're in sort of two groups. Some of them are working down this section, some of them are working up here. You can get them all to oops, just cancel this. There we go. You can get them all to um, complete the task that you want them to do first. Oh, they have dropped all of the doors here. So you can also use it for any kind of job. So we can. Nope. Well, you can't use it for any kind of job, you can use it for most kinds of jobs. You can't get them to uh, prioritise moving these, which is a bit of a shame. But say we were building something up here and we discovered an escape tunnel down here, uh, we could prioritise the removal of this escape tunnel so we could get the cells up and running again. Or we could, if um, a part of our wall collapsed while we were having a massive expansion we could quickly rebuild that section of wall and prioritize it so that the prisoners would fix that part of the wall before they completed building anything else so I say yeah, it's very a very very useful feature and I, I found myself using it quite a lot now it can also be used for your guards so if we tell them to search this cell block all of these will be added as jobs and will be queued up. But if we are impatient and we don't want them, to, don't want to wait for them to um, search, if we drag over the whole thing and release, that will uh, make these jobs all high priority. And all of our work uh, guards, now these guys were resting, they have been dragged over here to do this. All of our guards who are on these CCTV monitors and door control systems, you can see 
and while filing across to search these cells. And even this guy here who is tired is slowly making his way over there. Now this has left the rest of the prison empty. You can see all of our guards have moved from this bottom section of the prison to go search that cell block. So you have to be a little bit careful with this. Um, it will result in, well, if you're on a too large an area, it will result in a large section of your prison being unattended for a little while while they finish searching. But it does complete the search a hell of a lot quicker than usual. Now we can also use it on these CCTV monitors. You can prioritise the job of someone being assigned to it. So this can be very handy if your guards all tend to wander off from your CCTV monitors and you can't see what's going on. Um, I couldn't get it to work for the reception, so when I had prisoners in here I couldn't seem to get it to work to speed up this section. But I think that's maybe a little trial and error to see what you can actually get it used on. It does seem to be most of the jobs. So it is very handy and I have found myself using it quite a lot. So I'll tell them to build something and then I'll instantly just high priority it. Because I want them to do what I want them to do first. So that is the first feature. Um, the next thing we are going to look at is the weather system and the seasonal system. Now these expand or use the thermodynamic system which was implemented in update 3 I believe. Um, I have another video that covers that in a lot more depth so I'm just going to glance over how the thermodynamics works in this. Um, I will post a link in the description to that video so if you're unsure of how the radiators and the hot water system works then you can check out that video. Um, they did change the way that the showers worked though after I posted the video. Um, so hot showers are now classed as a luxury. As before your prisoners would pretty much kick off straight away if you stuck them in a cold shower. I think that was breaking a few people's games. So now hot showers are classed as a luxury. So that's one thing to bear in mind if you do watch that video. Right, so the season system, if you come up here, you can to the day, you can see like, how long I've been playing this map. Uh, this was a map that I built after update 1 I believe, after the first release of the game. And it was designed for escape mode, so it doesn't really function as a proper prison. It loses a shed load of money every day. It's got far too many guards for the amount of prisoners it holds. Um, yeah, but it was for escape mode, and I thought it was quite interesting for escape mode. So I'll post a link in the description if you want to check that out as well. See if you can escape from this prison. That's why I've spent quite a lot of time on this. But underneath the time played, you can see the current season. And the season is autumn, which is a fall for our American counterparts. And the season affects the temperature of your prison, or the temperature of the outside. Which in this prison, as it has no radiators or hot water boilers or anything like that, directly affects the prison. So as you can see, the kitchen has been working, so it has bled a little bit of heat out to here. But the rest of the prison is it's reasonable at the minute. Nine, eight, nine. Um, the few people are moaning about the cold, but it's not critical just yet. But it is eight degrees outside, so. But as we get into winter and the weather turns nastier, this will drop quite substantially. And then. During the winter, during the day, I got 
high sort of temperature I managed to sort of see was about 3 degrees Celsius or 37 degrees Fahrenheit which is cold and your prisoners will complain about it I think I had all my prisoners complaining about being too cold and in the night time the temperature drops even further uh, the lowest temperature I got in the night time was minus 6 degrees Celsius or 21 degrees Fahrenheit so it was extremely cold I had a few prisoners um, actually have exposure which is a new stasis effect if you leave them in a cold area for too long they will get exposure and they will eventually die from that so that is one thing to be careful of uh, during the summer months oh, each season does last seven in-game days so you can sort of tell how long you've got left of a certain season if you look at that um, during the summer the weather is a lot nicer I think in the night time lowest sort of temperature I got was 4 degrees Celsius or 39 degrees Fahrenheit and in the middle of the day in a nice hot sunny day I managed to clock 24 degrees Celsius or 75 degrees Fahrenheit so my prisoners weren't moaning about the cold then, they were nice and happy, they had no warmth needs. Uh, a few prisoners did get a little bit overheated, and uh, when they do get overheated, they can't die of that, but they do become a little bit more volatile, they will kick off a little, a little bit easier when they are too hot, especially if they are working in a kitchen on a hot day, there's one way to make them far too hot. So. Yeah, it's one thing to be wary of. Um, as for the weather effects, they do need to be enabled. So if you go into the menu and go to extras, and where is it now? The map settings, you can enable weather. Now, once you've enabled it, you cannot deactivate it. So you do have to be a little bit careful about putting this on. I mean, I. Personally, I would play with it, and I do play with it, because it's new, and I want to try out the new things, so. But if you are new to the game, they want to leave it off for your first couple of prisons, because it can cause a few issues. Um, also in here, you can enable events and enable gangs, if you don't already have them enabled. But as I have them on, there is no option, so we're going to enable weather on here now there's a few different types of weather um, you get sort of overcast days like cloudy days which will lower the temperature which again will affect the warmth needs you get rainy days which if your prisoners are stuck out in the rain if they are out in an outside yard oh, so picking off up here Looks like that guy managed to get himself a shotgun. Oh well. So I did cheat these prisoners as well to make them like extreme prisoners basically. They all have a lot of um, a lot of traits. So they are quite dangerous and they do kick off pretty much every day. Now where were we? Oh, the weather effects. So, rainy days, if your prisoners are outside in the rain, then they will get cold and wet. And when they come in, they this will uh, spike their warmth need. As you can see, this is starting to go up quite, quite a bit, as it's getting down to 5 degrees now, as we get into the night time. Um, the rain will affect their comfort need, and it will also affect their clothing need. So if they are stuck out in the rain, they will come in cold and wet and they want to change their clothes and warm up and get comfortable again. Um, the other type of weather is snow, which just makes it, makes it a lot colder basically. Um, you do also get heavy rain, which floods. I do have a few of these saved, so we're just going to load these up. Let's, um, load up the rain so you can just see it here so you get this nice little uh, rain effect on here 
This is in the winter time. I did run this prism for about a year just to see uh, what temperatures I got in the different seasons and just so I could show you guys the um, different weather effects. So this one is the rain. Now it is night time so all my prisoners are inside. So they're not going to get cold and wet. But if they were outside, oh don't don't stand on the keyboard caps. Oops, sorry about that guys, I bought myself a new cap. Well a cap. Ah and he has decided he wants to come and play <laughs> and stand on my keyboard as I'm trying to record. So I'll try and speed this up so I can um, entertain him. Stop attacking me, cat. Anyway, so yeah, this is the uh, rain. As you can see the colour is sort of washed out of the screen, signifies it's a sort of cloudy day. So everything has gone a little bit grey and miserable, which I quite like. Sort of makes things a little bit more visually appealing. And the other weather effects I have here, I have some snow in the winter time. Now you do tend to get more snow and rain in the winter months, and the end of spring and the start of autumn. So this is the snow, which uh, gives you this nice frost effect on the outside. No cat! <laughs> on the outside areas of your prison. It also uh, makes it a lot colder, as you can see here, it's uh, 3 a.m. and it's down to minus 3. So if I jump on my knees quickly, you can see everybody is moaning about being too cold here, which is not good. Um, they are not kicking off because I have a lot of armed guards in service. I have 10 armed guards, I have 66 guards. So 43 of my 64 prisoners are suppressed and 3 are shackled so that is what's sort of keeping this prison ticking over at the minute, the massive amount of guards in it. So this is the snow effects, I think it looks quite nice. And the last one I have to show you is the uh, heavy rain. Now it sort of looks similar to the rain, a little bit heavier, but as you can see here, any parts of your prison that are on next to the water will start flooding. So in most areas this isn't too much of a problem. As you can see here, the CCTV monitors and these door control systems will work fine being flooded. But if you have something like this, where you have a power station on the side next to some water. Uh, this did catch a light because this area flooded and the water got to it. And yeah. So you do have to be a little bit careful of that. Uh, one solution I have found is if you place drains underneath these capacitors, then it does seem to stop some just high priority all of this. Speed up time. Uh, it does seem to stop the water getting to the power station itself. This is going to go bang again very quickly. Come on guys, install these uh, drains for me. So we can get rid of some of this water, where are you? As you can see here, uh, this guy here is doing this drain. Quickly man, quickly! Oh, so he's getting stuck. But there's too many people and lots of bottlenecks in prison. So here we go, you see the drains take away the water before it actually gets to the power station. Um, I don't know if this is 100% foolproof. I haven't had a chance to completely test it. As I said, I run this um, map for a roughly a year, so 28 in-game days. And I only got the heavy rain once. So it's sort of rare occurrence. Um, you can do the drain thing where you can build a wall around this area but the water will still get through doors so that is one thing to be wary of.
Where's my other power? I know the power's up here, well out of the way. And again, these guys are kicking off and trying to escape and killing guards. So there we are. So let's see if we can find someone who's suffering. Oh no, even though it's raining, it's 11 degrees, so none of these guys should be suffering from exposure. No. Um, I think I've got one in here. Show that off quickly. Uh, this one, Snow Winter. There we go, here's the guy. So, this solitary block I built is completely surrounded by the outside, they're all outside walls. If I go to temperature, you'll see it's uh, zero degrees in this section. And as this guy has no bed to keep him warm and just stuck in the cold in zero degrees, he has um, got the status effect of exposure, so he is slowly freezing to death. Keep in mind it's free outside. So you not only do you have to heat your cells, you have to be a little bit careful if you are going to design solitary blocks like this. Especially if you uh, put your solitary outside. Uh, now some people would do things like this. Uh, object, where's my solitary door? Solitary. Oh, no that's not right. Fence, that's what I wanted. Yeah, you can uh, build a nice cheap solitary by high priority that. Find out where my workmen are, there they are. There's one of them leave. So if you were to do something like this then um, temperature in this solitary block would be extremely cold and the prisoners are much higher chance of dying, especially if they have a long time in solitary. If exposure gets too high, they will pass away. So, I think that... Oh, it's gone to snow. Oh, lovely. So, I think that covers everything in update 3. Um, as I said, I will post the links to my thermodynamics and my radiator video in the... Um, link in the description below so you can check those out if you want to see how that works and how to keep your prison and your prisoners warm um, if you have learned anything new from this um, video then please click the like button and that will help other people to find the video and hopefully learn things too um, if you have any further questions or I didn't understand if you didn't understand anything I've tried to explain then please post a comment in the comments below and I will get back to you and hopefully clarify anything I have I have said. Um, if you have really enjoyed this video then feel free to, sub to subscribe to my channel and that will let you know when I post new videos. Uh, they're not always going to be on Prison Architects. I, I am thinking about doing one for the long dark because that has just received an update which is quite interesting uh, I'm having quite a lot of fun with and I've also been playing quite a bit of Factorio yes uh, it's a very addictive game so feel free to check out those videos as well and until next time I will catch you guys later